Time once again for another five minute ish review. Two thousand sixes Bacterium. A group of friends out in the woods playing paintball stumble on an apparently abandoned house. A couple thinking their friends may be inside waiting to ambush them go in to check it out and instead of their fellow combatants find a rogue scientist working on a biological experiment gone awry. When one is captured by the scientist, her friend manages to overpower the seemingly mad doctor and rescue her. But in the melee, the contagion is released. Now the flesh-eating bacteria, which has mutated to large gelatinous blobs, are loose in the house. With the blobs lurking inside and armed military outside determined to not let the group or the bacteria escape, a trio of friends have to stay one step ahead of certain death. The film stars Allison Whitney, making her feature film debut here, Benjamin Keynes, and Mia Sagara. These three actors each have varying degree of skill. Allison, while relatively new, is the strongest among them. I'd say Keynes follows but distantly, and behind him would be Sagara. She was really the weakest link, often seeming as though she only just learned her lines that day, which may have been a possibility as she looked like she just walked in off the street and not out of the woods from playing paintball. I'm only assuming, but historically with low budget films, the actors often provide their own outfits. And no effort was made by this actress or the production team to make her fit into the story. It was honestly a little distracting. Undoubtedly, this was low budget, but it was big enough to have a real helicopter for several scenes. And I don't mean that they just had it sitting around. I mean they actually had a flying helicopter. Not what I generally expect from a film like this. It was a nice touch and definitely gave the film a slightly more polished feel. The rest of the film relied on the empty house in the woods as the backdrop and all interiors and exteriors were shot there. An old, empty, and abandoned mansion is a horror director's dream location. They really looked out on having this available for them for their whirlwind 11-day shoot. Brett Piper, who has a slew of cheesy monster and horror films under his belt, most often working in the effects department, trades in the effects credit and pulls double duty here as writer and director. His experience in effects, however, helps in highlighting the best thing about Bacterium, and that is the completely practical effects used for the blobs. According to IMDb Trivia, Depending on their stage of development, they were made of gel wax, wallpaper paste, water balloons, Spanish moss, fake spider webbing, latex and or ultra slime. And all made green, of course. They believably oozed and creeped across, up and around the house, sometimes engulfing their prey. And that made this fanboy of physical effects and camera trickery squeal with glee. I also really appreciated a few well-placed lines that gave homage to some classic films that have come before. Overall, I think the story was a bit mundane. We've seen this played out countless times. I would have liked some extra twist or something added that could be truly considered original. I was really surprised that the paintball never really comes into play. I was sure that someone's mad skills would be the linchpin that saves the day but it was just the excuse to have these kids in the woods and nothing more. Bacterium isn't a bad film, but outside of the blob effects, it fails to rise above its limitations. I wanted to like it more, but I couldn't decide if Piper was trying to make something over the top and corny, like some of his previous films, or a serious horror thriller. This film tries to walk between these two things and often stumbles into one camp or the other, and that just throws this audience member out of the moment. At the time of recording, Bacterium is available on Amazon, and it's free with a Prime subscription. I won't say to not check it out, but if you do, go in forewarned. If you do watch 2006's Bacterium, or have watched it, please let me know what you thought of the film. Follow the link in the show notes to all our social media outlets, or just email me at timeshifterspodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, everyone. Talk to you soon.